Yo, what's good? It's your boy PB3G and welcome to Blurred You Heard the Network. Please like and subscribe. Ayo hey, gang, the Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage trailer just dropped the second trailer and there's a lot I liked and there's some stuff I didn't like. Let's start off with what I liked. Woody Harrelson as Carnage is fire. Oh my god, this character looks so amazing in this movie i believe andy circus is directing and handling the mocap of this film if i'm not mistaken he's definitely handling handling the mocap so the the the, the transformation from um cletus cassidy to carnage looks amazing the jail scene there's a jail scene where it looks like um cletus cassidy after he gets the carnage symbiote uh he escapes from prison and that scene looks like it's going to be bloody it's going to be animated it's going to be straight out of the 90s cartoon comic book era of carnage which i grew up on i love um spider-man the only reason why i like spider-man is because of carnage and venom like my two favorite villains from the 90s they were super popular in the 90s if you haven't seen my my first venom trailer uh video check it out i'll get into all of that there the link will be in the description but i love carnage in this woody harrelson is looks amazing looks like he's gonna do a fantastic job man i love these characters man and that's why i'm so disappointed with tom hardy as venom like i just it's just it's not hitting for me that the banter the back and forth between venom and tom hardy's uh eddie brock it's just it's not clicking like it, it never clicked it's, it, like when i saw the first movie the first trailer for the first movie it it, it didn't sit right with me there i'm like eh, it, it did like this is more of a movie about comic book characters rather than it being a solid comic book movie you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not, it's too, you know, it's too Hollywood. It's too Hollywood. I'm not feeling the back and forth between Eddie Brock and Venom. It, it like, I, it's cringe, I guess is the word for it. It's very cringe for me. I know normies and maybe even some comic book fans love it. It's just, it's not hitting for me. I, I don't know. It's just, it's not it. Um, It's not that Tom Hardy's a bad actor. It's just... Uh, is i don't i don't know it's super hollywood it's, it's a lot it's it seems like a lot of the same of the first film a lot of the stuff i didn't like in the first film like the action and stuff is great but when it comes to the story i just think this and that's another thing the story is just weak to me uh, well at least as far as the first film the story was weak to me i, I like the action but the story eh, it just it didn't seem comic booky to me maybe you know i'm being you know nitpicky because i'm a nerd and i know this stuff and i usually love comic book movies i'm not one of those nerds that just turns his nose up at every comic book movie i usually love a lot of the stuff that com comes out but that first venom movie i didn't like and some of the stuff i didn't like from that first movie seems to have crossed over into the second movie maybe i'm in the minority in this i just don't like the banter it's not funny to me it's cringy and i just eh i'm i'm not in, uh it's this is sony you know what i'm saying this is sony they've always been hit and miss with spider-man um they got a mobius movie coming out with jared leto and it's just i'm not really into that neither it might be great but i'm not they just they, they're, they're not consistent and they do this hollywood thing with the movies i just it's not for me never forget that they had an art made movie that they were considering they were really considering doing a aunt may solo movie so that should tell you everything you need to know about sony i'm waiting for this character to cross over with the mcu it's inevitable spider-man for um no way home excuse me is dealing with the multiverse so anything is possible i'm not saying eddie brock will be in no way home but maybe through the events of spider-man no way home we get to eventually see eddie brock in the mcu so there's an upside to all of this let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hit that subscribe button because if you ain't gang you can't hang gang